What's up guys, my name is Timbo and today we're going to be talking about the prickly awoken vendor on IO known only as Asher Mir. While most people probably know him as the snarky, maybe slightly annoying at times guy who gave you the graviton lance, there's quite a bit more to him than what meets the eye. In this video I'm going to go over his relatively unknown backstory, discussing his relations with familiar faces, tying it to other pieces of lore, and explaining just what happened to his right arm. And let me tell you, Despite what you may or may not know going into this video, I can almost guarantee you'll be surprised with what I'm about to tell you. So without further ado, let's get into the story. Before Asher was butting heads with Ikora on Io, the warlock was like any other. Asher, like Osiris, had a specific intrigue with the Vex, and spent much of his time studying them. While researching them, Asher hired two hunters to accompany him on his mission. Good choice. The three eventually ran into the Pymeridian on Io, where they encountered Brachion, the Genesis Mind. And this is a tangent, but I have to bring it up. Why does every strike boss in Destiny have to be just a giant version of a basic enemy? We've got big shanks, big captains, big servitors, big vandals, big hobgoblins. Need I go on? Bungie. You could try a little hard on that, just saying. Anyway, since Asher has a voice, he clearly isn't as god tier as you, boring, silent, interchangeable protagonist man that does all the things. Meaning he was unsuccessful in his mission, getting captured in the process. The Vex Mind then issued experiments on Asher and the other guardians with him, attempting to graft Vex technology onto them. While his two companions perished, Asher was able to survive. How you ask? I don't know, self res or some warlock BS, who knows. Asher and his ghost escaped the Vex, but with dire consequences. Asher's ghost became heavily augmented, possessing an unblinking red eye like we see on goblins. And even more prominent was Asher's right arm as we see it today, replaced with a Vex construct. Now if you played the side missions or the Pymeridian strike on Io, this might be information you're already aware of. But this for me, is where things get very interesting. Asher was able to make it back to the last city, but quickly became catatonic and fell into a coma. The Vex arm acted as a growing infection, attempting to take control over more of his body and mind. Someone present during this scene was none other than Eris Morn. Shortly before leaving the tower in an attempt to defeat the hive outside the safety of the city, she visited her friend in the medical bay, wishing him well, but also noting that she would not be by his side in any of the city's upcoming struggles. This creates a parallelism between Eris and Asher, as both of them have been changed by alien enemies. We then of course know what happens next. The Red Legion invade, Asher gets well and heads over to Io, and as for Eris, well, we aren't quite sure where she is. The reason I find this part so interesting is this. Back in the Age of Triumph for Destiny 1, we knew of this event, but back then it had a completely different meaning. I remember in both my video on Eris and Osiris referencing this story, and after learning of Asher, it gives it a completely different meaning. Back then I only thought it to be a way to explain the ornaments found in the updated Vault of Glass, but looking at it today, the story of Asher Mir possibly begins a much larger narrative. Unless Asher can find a way to cure his Vex infection, he, much like Kabar in the Vault of Glass, will die. This adds him to a list of characters with close ties to the Vex. Osiris, as stated many times before, has grown very close to Vex technology. The Exo Stranger was in this boat as well, and with the Osiris expansion slated for December, it begs the question, is this the last we will see of this Vex infection? Osiris can be connected to many different things, I will admit. The Nine, the Vex, Asher, the Stranger, and I'm sure there's some other ones out there too. I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that the Osiris expansion will mainly involve the Vex for its enemy race, and after revisiting this story, it wouldn't surprise me if Asher will be involved at least somewhat as well. I know Bungie and how they constantly squander potential they've created, but I really hope that they are able to tie in some of these mysteries and finally explain them. As for Eris Morn, no one can quite know for sure where she is. I've already made a video months ago talking about her, if you'd like to watch it I'll put it in the cards now, but as of right now, nothing has really changed with her, so making a follow up video on her right now would be unnecessary and slightly redundant. However, with her connections to Asher, it wouldn't surprise me if he is involved somehow in her current behind the scenes actions. But that is the story of Asher Mir. Down in the comments make sure to let me know what you thought. Do you think this Vex infection has anything to do with Osiris, or is Asher's arc done for the foreseeable future? I do understand this type of video is a slight deviation from the norm here on this channel. Normally my videos are 
on an outlandish theory or critical opinion, but if you guys enjoyed this sort of shorter story format for a video, let me know and tell me who or what you'd like me to talk about in the next video. These aren't what I want to base my entire channel off of, um, but being in college with limited time, this shorter explanatory format is easier for me for now. Uh, you know, from time to time. But that's all I've got, guys. If you enjoyed the video, a positive rating is very appreciated. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.